Hello, all beautiful people. Today we have uh, Monday, February 1. And uh, I wish we just to check the status because we have had uh, gradually adding load from the 1200 watt heater. So let's see. <coughs> Okay, so now this is we we don't need the fan heater. It's a bit seems like it has increased just a little bit. I think it was more like 492 before. Okay, so let's see what we have for kilowatt hours now. That's the maximum load we have had. There we have 88 kilowatt hours since start. I'm not sure if that is reasonable. I have to make some calculations about that. Okay, thank you for this. So, uh, let's have a look at the nano-coating status now also. Okay. That's the input side and the output side. Not sure. Seems maybe the input side is a little bit dark, not sure hard to say. Okay, uh, next step now is to connect uh, the heater uh, permanently now for like maybe 24 hours over the night anyway. So uh, it's been connected now uh, for half an hour because I wanted to see what was the what usage will, will be when it gets stab stabilized. So it's a bit less. We had 1640 when we connected the first time. Seems like it's been... Oh, maybe it's decreased 40 watts. Though. So we'll see tomorrow after if we can see any more tendency that it the wattage de decrease because tomorrow we're gonna do the the big step the last step is to relocate the load from the 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 output of the unit to the input but uh, so that's what we're gonna go do to, tomorrow yeah it's oh whoops yeah it really seems it's Kind of decreasing the wattage usage. We'll see what status we have tomorrow. Uh, uh, now uh, the heater has been on for five hours, and you can see on the watts now. It's a bit strange. It's as you can see now. It's 476, and it's going like up and down. So at the maximum, it can it goes down to. Oops, what's that? Wow, that's that's really new. What was that? Because what I've seen is it's going down like this, 1586, and then it goes back to 1640. It's a pretty strange behavior. I don't know what's up. Anyway, uh, another thing I found uh, 
now was I've been feeling on the surface of the power unit uh, since I started testing and just to see if it get warm or something but I've never felt it get any warm at all but now uh, when I was feeling it like after oh look at that aha aha it, it okay I understand aha it's my it's my heater that turns off and on by itself yeah okay all right the heater has a sense has a temperature thing that so it switches off when it think it's too hot in the room <laughs> okay that explains it anyway with the with the temperature of the power unit itself when you feel on the surface on the outside of it today I could for the first time feel it was a little warm it wasn't hot but it was a little warm so let's check it out now because this is I can measure the temperature here so let's see if I point it there Ding. it's 27 celsius oh, let's see here oh, it's a 25 celsius degrees celsius so actually I measured as much as it was up to 35 degrees celsius but after that I I turned my fan <laughs> over there so I think the fan is kind of cooling the unit a little bit over here now so it seems like uh, temperature keeps at least up that's about the hottest I get there when I when I try on the Keshe Foundation SSI logo and up here it's a little bit lower so now it seems it keeps at least under 25 degrees Celsius anyway now we are going to do the last step of the testing and that is we are moving the heater now from this is on the output of the power unit now we're going to move that to this guy here which is which is on the input of the power unit so let's see what we have now okay it's not really it's not connecting now the, the big heater is turned off all right so anyway if I take it out here then we have the other loads now are 476 okay that's a bit lower than we ever had seems seems like the wattage is a little bit decreasing there okay and now we will connect for the first time any load to the on the input side here of the unit so let's see we get it right there uh, yeah connected and um, 1650 640 was the nominal stuff we got before so it's this is kind of normal it starts a bit high and then decreases as as the heater get more warmed up okay it's about 1600 whoa 
that's a bit lower. Okay. Uh, so we'll leave it here and see what happens when we have this. Because the theory is that if we have 200 watts connected here on the output side, it should generate like four to six times that watts on the input side. So, so we have like 500 watts now on the output side. So that should generate plus by energy something like 2000 watts on this side. So we only connected like 1200 watts here. Oh, it's really going decreasing now. 475. That's the lowest. There, it, okay, there, there the heat it turns on again. Let's see here. 1600, yeah. So it seems to start around 1640 when it turns on. And then goes down pretty fast okay we'll let it be uh, like this for some, for some hours and see what happens Uh, now we have been running over the night uh, with the heater permanently connected so it's like 20 hours now since we connected the heater permanently and it is Tuesday February 2nd and uh, let's see about the wattage uh -huh. Oop, yeah. So when when the heater disconnects like it did there, we have the rest of the load is 469 now. 67. Seems like it's very slowly decreasing there. Just a few watts. Okay, uh, here we can see when the heater is connected. It's going down 76, 74, 72. It also seems to decrease just some small amount by time. Yeah, that uh, it turned off. So this is the next uh, test stage. Uh, what we have done here, uh, the heater is disconnected from the input side, and instead we put the f fan heater on the uh, input side, and on the output we still have the the fans and and the LED lamps. So we're gonna go with this for a bit more long time testing, see what happens with the wattage. Because now the heat fan will not turn off and on, so we will know exactly what wattage to uh, or energy usage to expect over time here per day. Then we can compare. So let's see. Now, wow, 470 watts, uh, that's a big difference, just by uh, I think that's, uh, that's 
100 watts less just by doing this reconnection. That's interesting. So let's see what energy uses we have now when we start this phase. So we are at what? 14. Wait a minute. This is what max and chilo chilo what hours that seem to be reset. That's very strange. That's very strange. Anyway, what we see now is See what I was at the start of this phase is 14.5. Alright. So uh, now with uh, the fan heat on for some time, I just see how the temperature on the unit is this time. Oh, it was the wrong side. <laughs> wrong side. <coughs> uh, okay, so it's like 22, 22 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So with this load, it seems like there's really no heat on the unit like we had before now the what is this like 475 around all right thank you and goodbye